Hi Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Ascendant or Venus, this is Dane and I'm going to be doing your December 6th to the 16th, 2021 money and career reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will be listed and linked in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. So take a nice deep breath in exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into the safe and loving space. Let's let the bulls sing as we see what the tarot has to say. Aquarius, December 6th to the 16th, 2021 Aquarius, Money and Career. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels. And spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels. And spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels. And spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels. And spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. At the bottom is our rooted self. The left-hand side is our inner self. The middle, our heart, our emotional self. The right-hand side, the public arena, the public self. So let's see what the cards have to say. We have the devil, which is Capricorn energy. So if we're born in the cusp with Capricorn, or if we have Capricorn within our natal chart, that's coming through very powerfully here at our root. We also have the moon, which is Pisces energy. So the same thing. If we have Pisces within our natal chart, or we're born on the cusp of Pisces, that's coming through very powerfully here at our root. Also note that if we have Capricorns or Pisces within our lives, what they say to us is going to have more of a hit on our foundational self, like the sturdiness that we feel within ourselves than we realize. So just be aware of that. We have the Ten of Pentacles, Prosperity and Success. We have the Queen of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So if we have Fire Sign Energy within our natal chart, that comes through very powerfully here in our inner self. Then we have the Knight of Cups, amplifying the Pisces energy. Pisces is represented by the moon in the major arcana, by the cups in the minor arcana, and it also represents other water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. And then we have the Queen of Cups, which again is water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So if we have that within our natal chart, it's going to come through very, very powerfully in our emotional self. But this is also going to be a time where our heart is... <sighs> It's, it's guiding so much during this time. If we, if we ignore our emotional self, we will ignore a lot of prosperity that can be brought to us, that can be brought forward. There's also the Knights Protect Queens. So there's going to be the sense of protecting what is sacred, what is beautiful to us. Then we have the Ten of Cups. This is our love. This is, you know, prosperity and connection. This is, and they all live happily ever after, and the Two of Cups, which is the Minor Arcana Lovers card. The repeat of the number 10 here shows that we're coming to a completion of a cycle emotionally and also financially. Let's look at our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides shown clearly. Not our chakra energy, our energy to be mindful of. Okay. 
So this is the Princess of Cups. This is water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. We need to be mindful of emotionally being taken advantage of. And this is going to be something that people very much like to do to emotionally manipulate, to emotionally kind of like, you know, put things out there and want us to take care of that. It. And we just have to be very mindful not to be sucked into their drama, their trauma. It's going to be so easy for us. Our sub, not subconscious, our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. It is the earth star chakra and the throat chakra. So the earth star chakra is nourishment. We are going to start to nourish ourselves, our inner child, you know, what it is that we desire, what it is that we need. We're also connecting ourselves with the earth and the nourishment that we get from the earth. Then we have the throat chakra communication is going to be paramount during this time. It is going to be so important to communicate to ourselves what we want, but also to communicate to the world around us, to our spirit guides, what we desire, the way that we want to move forward. We're also going to be looking at at conversations, at you know, connections with people more than just at a surface value. We're going to be diving deep into things. So being aware of that is going to be very helpful for us because it lets us be prepared for everything that's coming our way. Now we have the devil at our root. This is going to be a time where we're looking at the things that have held us back, the doubts, the fears, the negativities, the hurts, the pains, the disappointments, also the expectations of others, the expectations of ourselves for what our life should be, for what we think things should be. And we're going to really sit there and say, why? You know, why is it that I'm putting myself in this box? Or why is it that society put me in this box? I need to be X, Y, Z. I need to express, you know, what I want from my life, from you know, how I want to develop the way that I want to move forward. And this becomes a game changing time for us. It really does. It becomes a time where we're breaking down barriers, where we're looking at what has held us back. And we're seeing a lot of the things that we're afraid of and saying, why, why do I have to be afraid of this? This is the monster in the closet. And the moon has us looking at those fears and saying, well, do I get to be ruled by this? Or do I get to be illuminated by a softer, gentler light that's letting me see the shadows? And yes, I can see them as monsters, but I can also see them as the distortion of the things during the day, the quiet, you know, configuration of what things become when our minds get to relax just a little bit, where we get to, you know, not be held by constraints, by ideas and letting these shadows come forward within our mind, letting these shadows become and manifest what we need them to be not fear but things that we need to face ideas that we need to you know embrace stuff that needs to come forward that gets to be a part of us and it brings us to the ten of pentacles it brings us to prosperity and success and to bounty it brings us to a place where we really start to see what's important to us we also are embracing here a generational blessing we talk a lot about generational curses you know, kind of the negativity that our parents were raised with, or our guardians were raised with, passed down to us. And this is going to be a time where we're starting to really embrace prosperity. We're really starting to embrace success. We're really starting to look at things and say, okay, this could have been a toxic environment, but I have this little nugget of, of beauty that is building and building and building within me. And I'm really letting it shine forward. This is also saying I'm opening up my arms and myself to prosperity, to success. I'm releasing so much negativity that has been holding us back. And that's really at this root. We're releasing, we're purging ourselves from darkness, from what we could call, you know, quote unquote, a curse and being able to embrace prosperity and success and bounty. And we're, we're changing this. We're changing a curse into a blessing. And this becomes something very powerful for us. We also start to move forward with this kind of carrying forward this, this blessing, right? We're connecting to people. We're connecting to ideas. We're connecting to what is needed. And so this radiance of prosperity is shared throughout the world, is shared with people that we connect with, is shared with our higher energy vibration. And it moves us to the queen of wands. It moves us to passion. It moves us to creation. This is a time where we're really connected with our jobs. We're really connected or with the work that we do on the side that we're absolutely passionate about. This is a time where we are embracing passion and ideas and insight where we're breaking down barriers. Again, that's going to be huge for us during this time to break down things that have held us back in the past and be able to say, this is how I want to move forward. This is what I desire. This is what I want. And this is what I need. Our hearts 
Right now we're rising above so much trauma drama. That's why we have to be very mindful of being pulled back into it. And as we rise above this trauma drama, we're cloaked with chakra energy, the heart chakra energy of healing. We are charging forward. We're listening to our hearts. And as we listen to our hearts, we're going to find that there's a peace that starts to come over us. There's a peace that starts to center us. And as we are embracing this peace, as we're looking at this peace, as we're understanding this peace, we're starting to understand ourselves more. We're embracing healing. We're looking at the mess of the world. We're looking at the emotional turmoil of everything. And we're really starting to say, okay, how do I move forward through this chaos? with calm precision, with an understanding and a healing of my heart and of my soul and of myself. And it brings us to this place in the public arena of embracing our happiness. Now, it's our happiness because happiness is such a broad term. And yet it's so different for each and every one of us. Some of us can be perfectly happy camping off the side of a cliff and thinking that it's the best thing in the world to be suspended in air like this. And others of us can find it absolutely terrifying. So here we're embracing in the public arena, in the waking world, what makes us happy, the joy, the connection, the, the prosperity of simply smiling, of simply, you know, saying that there's fire to me, there's there's determination to me. And now I get to focus that on what I want to create within my life, not what others demand I create or want from me. And so we're letting ourselves shine quite truly, quite opening, openly. And it brings us to unity. It brings us to a place of love, to a place of connection with our, you know, sacred masculine self, our sacred feminine self. We're going to see ourselves moving forward in the sense of understanding in the sense of insight, in the sense of ideas. If we step away from our hearts during this time, we will step away from a huge blessing that is coming our way. We'll step away from so much of us that needs to be seen, that needs to be heard, and that needs to connect. We have two queens here. So the sacred feminine energy is very, very powerful within us. The two tens, it shows a completion of a cycle financially, emotionally, because we're facing down so much during this time. We're not taking the bull. We're not, you know, letting the old narrative of I can't be true anymore. And we're saying to ourselves, I definitely can. We also have this connection here with spirit, with messages coming our way, with being able to see more and move forward in, a tr in, in triumph. It brings us to our subconscious self or subconscious energy to be mindful of. And that is the king of wands. This is a fire that wants to eat us up. This is, you know, all work and no play. This is anger. This is determination. This is focus. This is, you know, it will get done right now and there is no room for anything else. We need expression. We need flexibility. And so this here is just going to be, I'm taking credit for your work. I am, you know, not letting you rest and everything has to be pushed. Everything needs to be done yesterday. So just be mindful of that. It moves us to our subconscious chakra energy, which is angels and masters. This is the soul star chakra located six inches below our feet. We have our angels right there with us, blessing us, connecting with us, guiding us to a place of harmony, to a place of beauty. And as we're connecting with this energy, we're going to find ourselves more and more protected. It moves us to our subconscious rooted energy which is justice, Libra energy. We're cutting through doubts and fears and negativity, but we're also being just with ourselves. We're being discerning with the energy that we let in, with the narrative that we let define our lives. And we're opening our ourself and our world to so much more than we ever realized we wanted. It brings us to our subconscious inner self and that's the ace of swords that's god source spirit however you see the divine the universe handing us a gift just for us aquarius this is for us because we're represented by the swords in the minor arcana this is a gift of knowledge this is a gift of truth and of insight and of being able to say and to express what we really desire what we really need within our lives cutting through doubts and fears and negativity cutting through lies and deceits and really moving towards truth and and honesty honesty with where we want to be you know a sense of this is what i desire and this is the the fierceness of me going after it it gives us so much clarity it brings us the subconscious emotional self and that's the magician 
as above, so below. As you believe it, so it becomes. There's magic in our world. There's magic in our hearts. We're standing before the altar of our existence, claiming our power, claiming what we desire, claiming what we need within our lives. It brings us to our subconscious public arena self. And that is the four of swords. We need to honor the, the journey that we have been through, the heartbreak, the pain, the disappointment, the joy, the successes. We need to honor that because as we do, we start to honor ourselves more and we start to see how much we have been through, how much we have overcome and how strong we actually are. We also need to rest and take care of ourselves. Okay. All right, Aquarius. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power and the intensity of this time. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Aquarius.